Hey there guys, what's going on? It's Skills here and I am back to a brand new series. Um, this game is called For the King, as you can see uh, right here. Um, basically, it's like... It's a roguelike, adventure, hex-based, kind of like a board game version of D&D &D without the like creative part that comes with D and D and without you rolling the dice it has like run kinda hard to explain what this game is but uh it's going to No nothing happened there. <laughs> the music cut off for a sec, sorry. Um Yeah it'll make sense as we get into it, but it's kinda like if D and D kind of like didn't have the creative elements, it was just kind of like the fighting monsters and the getting gear and the going on quests, basically. So it has a lot of like the fun elements of D&D &D without like some of the bits. But it's also not... I don't know, I say it's D&D, &D, but like it's not really D&D &D at all. It's kind of confusing, but basically I'm going to try it out. Um, I think I'm going to just do it on the base difficulty to start with. Solo adventure regular mode just that kind of thing Um, I don't have a schedule set for this series at the minute uh, you get all this stuff basically um, uh, yeah I don't have a, a uh, what did I say a schedule sorted out Um, so I have to pick my characters Um. So, this, so we have Blacksmith, Hunter, Scholar, and Minstrel. So those are the four options we get to start with. So if I just click, can I look at all class infos at the same time? I can. Okay. So basically we're going to have three party members. This can be played with one, two, or three players. Um, I'm just starting out by playing it on my own. Um, it's going to be a lot of setup and just explaining what's going on. Um... So we have the blacksmith, who's basically like a physical a attacker. Um, they have the path of skill of study, doing whatever that does. Uh, they start with some basic stuff. Uh, hunters, kind of ranged with a bow. Scholars, like your mage. Um, so you have magic, physical, ranged. And then you have the minstrel, which is going to be like the bard. Kind of like the support class. Um, so I definitely want to have a blacksmith. Um... Uh, I think I'll have a scholar because that's magic, and then I might have a bard as well. Um, so I might just not have a hunter and just go for the minstrel, and then I'll keep it like that. Okay. So we'll have blacksmith, minstrel, and scholar. I think that should be fine. Um, do we want to give them names? Uh, oh, what's some names? Oh, I didn't think about this. What's a good blacksmith name? Uh, we'll call you, call you Teddy. I don't know. Uh, you can be, um, what's a minstrel name? Like, uh, this is bad, right? Uh, yeah, it has a loop. Okay. Um, you, since you're a minstrel, you're going to be called, what's a good, like, bard name, like, uh, oh, I don't know, I'm not good at naming anything, um, oh my, wait, if I just click randomize, well, I'll do, oh, that'll just, okay, you will be, wait, we don't want two, two minstrels, right, you'll be Teddy, uh, you will go back to being a scholar, and for the mage, we'll call the mage, uh, ooh, um, we'll just have Teddy, Peter, and the minstrel will be called, uh, I think that's a woman, we'll call you Jane, I don't know, this is the last... <laughs> I have no reason for any of these names, but we're going to go with it. Um, 
Good King Brana has been slain. The once peaceful kingdom of Farul is being corrupted by wild chaos energy and ravaged by monsters and bandits. Their grieving queen Rosamund has called for Farul's ordinary citizens to search the land for the king's murderer and the source of the chaos energy. The tale now begins in the Guardian Forest, where there have, be have been rumours of suspicious activity and sinister strangers in the woods. Three would-be heroes meet in Autumn to begin their quest. So I don't have like a specific schedule sorted out yet. Um, I don't know how long this series is going to last. How long like this run. Because I could die like in the first couple episodes. It could end up going on. This game can take like over 10 hours to play through. So I'm just going to play a bunch today. Just get a bunch of recording it's done. Uh, see how far I get and then go from there. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to just kind of see, kind of kind of winging it, kind of going to see how it goes. Kind of just, uh, we'll we'll figure it out eventually. Um, but yeah, so I don't know when it's going to go up. Um, like, it's a certain date now, but it might not go up for another like two weeks. I don't know. I'm just doing a bunch of recordings and seeing how things are going. But anyway. Rossman, Queen of Ferul. First the wizard of Vex Vexor vanishes and my own husband was slain in his palace. You may be the last hope of Ferul. Seek out Hildebrandt in Woodsmoke. You will be told how best to aid our efforts. Your quest has begun. Strive against this chaos, lest our realm be consumed by it. So now we get a quest objective to go to Woodsmoke and the Guardian Forest. So that means we just have to basically head down there. Go to Woodsmoke and the Guardian Forest. Um... So the main quests will kind of come there. This is how we get to know how much to move. So Jane starts. So Jane was our... I don't remember. Turns out movement points determine how far you can travel in that game by testing your quickness stat. The amount of slots tested depends on terrain, weather and buffs. Understand. Um, so Jane was our... Uh, well, you're the blacksmith. You were the mage. So you're the... But right? Yeah. So, if we go hover over an enemy, this is how combat happens by going into this space. Um, so, the red spaces are the people who will be involved in the fight. So, because the red spaces hover up to here, over here, then we know that the, the, uh, the, what am I trying to say? Um... People in this town, like the other two, Teddy and Peter, uh, they will be involved in the fight. So I'm going to check out the this place first, see what quests we can get. Um, so if you go into town, you can check out the market, which sells stuff. You can check out the quests to get more items, gold, or reduce chaos. Chaos is this. So this is a chaos. Rising chaos has ch additional perils and challenges. So if a chaos gets to be here, then basically we'll... Uh, uh, the game will get harder basically. There's also scourges which are like I don't actually know much about scourges But I know that if it gets to the end gets to here something bad happens. It's different each scourge uh, These are our lives. We share lives between all three of us uh, and these I don't really know our chaos levels So we're on a chaos level of three right now, and if that gets there, it'll be a chaos level of four And um, but looking at this that is a pretty good quest because did you see that vest? Uh, how do I see it? Yeah, plus three armor, plus it's a rare, gives health regen and resistance and a bunch of stuff. Uh, so I think I'll just accept that quest and then it was a kill quest. So then the thing will pop up and this jelly cube popped up. So we have to go there and kill that to then uh, get that reward. So now we have a side quest to kill the jelly cube in the Guardian Forest. It expires in 20 rounds. So... First things first, we'll go over here, combat radius, basically the red highlight, um, and we'll take a look. So when you get into a fight, this is a swarm of crows, so there's three of them. Uh, you can ambush, uh, which basically whoever initiated the combat will get a turn before the enemies, but if you fail the ambush, then uh, the en all three of the enemies will attack, will get an extra turn at the beginning. Um, you can sneak to try and, like, if you succeed on this, you go through the enemy's hex, so you'll stand on their hex without alerting them. You can retreat to run away, or you can just fight. So we're going to just fight 
first of all. Um, so this is the first look at combat for us. So, these are us three. These are the enemies. Uh, they each have five health. That one's going to attack us, but we dodge it. Um, then the other one. This is, as you can see up here, this is the combat timeline. So, this is the order of, like, who is attacking when. So, we took a hit then. So, everyone except for, you know, the physical, the one who has a lot of... <laughs> Of course, everyone except for the main damage dealer, like the tanky one, gets attacked, gets hit. Uh, each action slot tests one of your main seven stats. The higher you start, the better chance of success. Understood. So, a mage is going to go first, so they get surge, or they can do an area blast. So, if I did that, it would attack everyone. If I did that, it would only attack one. Um, I don't really know what... um. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll just purge and tr and surge and just make sure I kill one of them. Um, okay, so I hit two and missed one. So only did four damage. Um, Alright, so basically I have to get three successes to do the max thing, to get a perfect. If I wanted to, I can use a focus, that's a right click, and that basically gives me one guaranteed roll and ups my chance of each of those. So I have a 93% chance to get this one and 93% chance to get this one. Uh, I'll just get, take my uh, thing back there. Um, I'm going to just do this on the middle one. And hope... There we go. We got a perfect then. So that one dies. Uh, and then let's see what you have. So you have taunt to draw attention, a stand attack. Ooh, that would have been good to... Ah, oh, well. Um, we're going to just attack this one, and we're just going to use a regular attack. And there we go. And then that one will get an attack, but hopefully we'll dodge or something like that. We'll see. Um, okay. And then we get a kill it. Uh, we'll just use Surge. Perfect. I feel like this combat's moving quite slow. I don't know if there's a way to speed it up. Uh, and, uh, click more. Um, so, okay, so, gold coins, we can, uh, we'll have, I'm gonna have one person collect all the money. Um, normally I'd just share it, but I'm just gonna have, who, which one's the mint? I think Jane I'll have collect all the money. Uh, remove cloud, given radius, uh, you can have that. And then, okay, perfect. And then we're going to go back over to here. And I don't think I actually checked out the, uh, the market. So, we can get a pipe. Oh, yes. So, these pipes, basically, they'll increase the amount of healing that we do for ourselves. So, we all start with a god's beard, which we gains our health um, so I'm gonna buy that uh, that pipe um, and then there's this stuff uh, yeah um, so we have a burnt tome here so that has a fire blast firestorm and smoke screen that's not bad we don't want that a white loot so dispel restore restore doesn't cure health just as an FYI that recures st like status ailments but that's a pretty good one. Um, that's protect and restore. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, single attack or target a group. Uh, plus three evasion. All in all, some pretty decent stuff in here. I wouldn't mind getting that or that. I might have Teddy buy these boot these boots because Teddy has enough for them. Um, and then give them to so so bit right. I should probably go into this. So these are the main stats. So you have luck, which just affects like these the certain challenges in the game that can happen. Um and luck will be for those. Um we have speed, which determines who goes first in combat and how much we move like in the in the world. Talent is for Jane. So talent is like gonna be about the Jane's weapons and about both stuff, which we don't have to worry about. So Jane's gonna be doing our talent stuff. Um, 
this one is awareness and that's gonna that would be more for the hunter um but it can be about um, amber yeah, i don't really care much about awareness um intelligence that's for peter uh that's like mage stuff and then also uh effects like use of tomes and staves staffs and it's useful for solving puzzles and in the overworld um this is vitality vitality and strength these are both for teddy and um, so this is represents your endurance and health it drives a character's base hp value and is useful for encounters the test one stamina and then this is about bladed and blunt weapons and is used for physical challenges so these are like the main stats so jane is going to be mainly focusing on talent teddy's going to be focusing on strength and vitality peter's going to be focusing on intelligence i'm kind of going to ignore awareness and then these are kind of just like these can just happen um then there is the level so as we gain experience that's the blue bar we'll level up and we'll get more we'll do more damage we'll have more health that kind of thing this is our attack damage maximum amount of standard damage per attack Um, i don't really worry about that um evasion uh so to basically dodge an attack uh then resistance block so blue resistance is physical purple resistance is magical so blocks value of incoming magic damage and blocks value of incoming physical damage um so we'll kind of be wanting to up resistance especially on these two the, teddy will kind of be wanting to up his health and then probably taunt a bit later on um but yeah um and then to end a turn, we'll just leave here. We just come up to this button and we just click this. Immediately end turn, convert remaining movement points into HP. So if we had more movement, it would give us HP or focus back. Focus is the, these are focus points, which will basically uh, allow us to, um, if we right click, give a guaranteed roll. Or in the other world, if we want to move an extra space, uh, then we can right click to... Uh, to what am I trying to say? Um, we can right click to do something. Um, gives an extra movement in the other world. Um, so that would give tribute to receive full focus on more XP. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, I might just have you go over here just to explore a bit more of that map, and then go down here. Uh, I don't really want to... Oh, nice to... I don't really want to do that just yet because of the whole fact that, like, we haven't... We don't need to. Um, and then we'll end your turn. You kind of want to keep everyone grouped together. Um, because, like, when you get into combats, you kind of don't want to be separated too much. Um, let's just see. Uh, yeah... Okay, if we do, we'll go to this one. Um, so I'm going to kind of have... Uh, who's this? Peter move down here. And then we'll have Jane in the next one go to that B swarm. And then we'll take on all of these. Um, so you end your turn. And then we'll have Jane over here. Little Jane. Roll your movement. Come on. There you go. And then... Okay, you see, so Jane would have to end there. So I'm going to use a focus. And then, that way, I can come over here. Um, I do want to just quickly check. Um, uh, I'll check that after, actually. Um, okay, so... For ambush... I don't really like to ambush because it kind of just... If you ambush, the other thing it does is it would we would only fight the bee. And we wouldn't fight all these other people. Um, but I'm just going to fight it. And then... After this fight, I think that's all of the basics explained. Um, so we'll kind of end this like tutorial kind of episode. I know we haven't really got a lot done in this episode. But that's because I kinda just wanted to give a little bit of a rundown. So I don't have to be explaining stuff in future episodes um, as much. Because is, there is a lot to this game, I feel like. Um, and I, it's a great game. Um, but I don't want to have to be explaining stuff constantly. 
Um, so I figure if I just get it all out in the first episode, explain what's going on, then we can focus on just having some fun. <laughs> um, so, none of these have resist- well, this one has resistance, immune to fire, freeze, and shock. So that'll appear there. The magic and, like, these kind of resistances would appear here, but that's kind of more in little levels. Um, I'm going to do an area blast and hope that we succeed. Perfect. So the bee's going to go down to one health. Um, oh, I didn't even... I need to remember to check the combat timeline. So now we both got our attacks. Um, ignore resistance. Right, I'm going to not kill the bee yet because I'm going to let Teddy do that splash damage one. Uh, I think if... I think I'll go to the beast man and do and just try this. We have an 83% chance. And that 83% chance, that's on each roll. So it's not 83% chance of getting all of it. It's an 83% chance on each one. Um Right. Now we're gonna do this splash damage one. So we can do ten to the middle and five to each on the side. I really want this to succeed, so I'm gonna use a focus. And we got an Encourage. So Encourage basically is a an extra skill of a... Uh, you see? That was all awesome, Teddy. Um, so it's an extra skill of the Bard. Um, the, well, it's not the Bard. What is the class called? Minstrel. Uh, of the Minstrel, that's basically going to make sure that Teddy... Uh, if, if Encourage can happen just randomly, and then if it happens, then they get a guaranteed roll, like using a Focus. Um, let's have, yeah, collect all that money. Permanent plus one to resistance. Um, so that's, is that physical or magical? I'm going to have, oh, ah, you see, it's, well, that's, okay, that's, um, so this is magic resistance. I'm going to have Teddy use that, because the, Teddy's the least magic resistant, but if I use, like, a taunt, then I want you to have good magic resistance. Um, and then we got a nice uh, little nice date, so we're going to go here. I'm just going to use this up, because I'm not going to come back up this way, I doubt. Um, just for the XP, not really for the, uh, the focus, but we're going to have it. We're going to do that. I probably should have used some extra focus before I did that, actually, and just gained a bit of extra moves. Um, and yeah, so in the next episode, we're going to go to Wood Smoke and then probably go down to that Jelly Cube. I don't know what level it is. Probably it's level 1, I'm assuming. Yeah. So we kind of want to get to level 1 first before we go fight it. Um, so we'll go to Wood Smoke and then start heading over this way. Um, Sanctums, basically, if you die uh, in combat... Um, you'll get one free re revive without using a life, and they give you some buffs, but you'll lose them buffs if you die. Um, and I think that's everything explained. Um, so yeah, I've, I think this is a really cool game. I'm really excited to play through it. Um, I hope you guys have kind of enjoyed this. It's a bit of a different game than I normally play, um, but I think it's really cool. Um, so... That's going to be it for this first kind of like tutorial-ish episode. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And I will catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.